I know we're excited. I'm going to give you opportunity to explore around the lab, but we're going to tell you a little bit about the lab. For I want to start off announcing I'm Dr. Turner, the proud principal of Rexville Middle School. This is my first year, so I got to be a part of this project, coming it, bringing it to an end. So I just want to thank everybody who was a part of it. I know you're in this room and moving all around the different areas. Such an exciting time for ourselves. I'm going to turn over the program to our mistress of ceremonies, Dr. Cheryl Best. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, 2014, 2015 class. A long time coming. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to say just a few words. I'm not going to hold you long. I just want to say last week I watched the news and there were so many different stories and so many different highlights of young people and a lot of negative things. I turned the television off. I watched the news again this week. So many other stories highlighted, negative, about our young people. I turned it off. But today, you got a new story, and I'm glad it's being written differently. The students here in our community, your community, my community, they're writing the story differently tonight. And I'm so proud. Tonight, 2014, 2015 class, you wrote the story differently tonight, and I thank you. So at this time, I would like to bring up, I would like to bring up our STEM director, Teacher of the Year, Miss Nix, Leanna Nix. I'm beyond happy to see so many faces of hardworking, diligent, incredibly gifted, brilliant, highly favored and esteemed, beloved of his Nix, off the chain, incredibly accelerated, STEMmers in the room. You will solve problems and you will have your part in saving the world. Um, so I want to just give you a little bit of history. A couple years ago, Miss Katie Dion, who works with Technology Association of Georgia's educational arm, that's TAG Ed, um, approached Ms. Murner, who was principal at the time, with a grants opportunity. And she called me up, and that's what I do. So um, after a little bit of time, we went to work. We crafted the grants, and we made our appeal. Um, did not really realize the, the enormity or the scope of what we were, for what we were asking. Um, but nevertheless, very soon thereafter, um, Ms. Dion, the lovely Miss Dion brought to the school um, the woman who has become my personal hero and friend and who well represents Coca-Cola Company. And that is Miss Valerie Mackey. And yeah, let's give her a hand because I'm going to have her up here in a minute. Um, Ms. Mackey came and uh, on that day she interviewed Ms. Murner and me. She interviewed a few of you students and a few that aren't here. And um, she got a sense of our vision and our heart. And I hope she will tell you what her response was, because I'm going to bring her up here to do that. But we, needless to say, became the very profoundly fortunate, incredibly blessed recipients of the lavish generosity of the Coca-Cola Company from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. So, Ms. Mackey. So, I am so excited to be standing in this room. Um, I see so many of the students <laughs> that were involved in the process, and this room looks totally different than it did when we started, so I'm very excited 
um, to be standing here too. I think the process started, you know, a year and a half ago, right? About a year and a half ago, we said, you know, we wanted to do something. You know, Coca-Cola has a heritage of giving to communities all around the world. And so as a part of the IT organization within Coke, we try to embody those same values and give. And since we are IT, we like STEM initiatives. So things to do with technology, making positive impacts on people's lives, and we try to focus on that. And um, we did look at some schools and talk to some schools, but I have to say when I came to Rick's Mill, and the first people I met was Ms. Nix and Ms. Myrna, and you could see the passion, you could see the commitment from the staff here, all of the staff, the eighth grade teachers that I met, um, everybody was, was awesome. And then bringing the students in and them telling me their experience, the fact that this STEM lab or the STEM program was such an outlet for them. This is what they look forward to. This is what keeps them focused, was just sealed it for us to say, this is definitely something that we need to do. But um, we are excited, again, excited to be partners with Rex Mill. We do hope that the students have good use of the lab. We love the students. We had a panel of people come and try to get the students started, and they asked us questions that we were puzzled looking around at each other. So I have to say thank you to my Coca-Cola team who actually came and helped the students and coached the students through this process, gave them feedback. So some of them are here. Thank you to you guys. I see Craig and Tom, Joe, Myron, Chris. Thank you guys. Um, and so the kids actually had a chance to come to our offices and present in front of our team as well. <laughs> So this great team of, of characters helped, and some others were involved, so we appreciate that. And then this thing grew a lot, little bigger, and we solicited the help of a project manager, so Naja helped out quite a bit, Naja Hoffman, project manager, so thank you. Um, but then this school year, Dr. Turner, the staff, we appreciate all your help. You've stood by, you met with the superintendents, that was a great meeting. So thank you for all of your support. We are really just glad we can give this to you and have a positive input on the lives. And just one thing, I remember one of the students asked, when we were on the panel, and one of the students asked, so what do you get out of this? Like, why are you doing this? What are you gonna get from this? And the thing that I said that day, and the thing that I still believe is that we give because that's the heritage of our company, we give back to communities. It's not just a beverage company. We give to the communities. And I wanted people to know that. And also that we wanted to groom our next generation of leaders. Because I truly believe, and I told them then, and I'm telling them now, that our next generation of leaders for the Coca-Cola company is in this room. And that's why we're doing that. That's why we're giving back. So we just look forward to all the wonderful things you're going to do in life. Good luck and enjoy your innovation lab. So at this time, we'll have both our assistant principals, uh, Ms. Lewis and Mr. Barnes, come up at this time. Well, we'd like to say welcome. Welcome to Rex Mill. Uh, we're very excited to be here today uh, for this grand occasion. We want to... Uh, introduce our superintendent, Ms. Jackson. She has some wonderful words of reflection for us. Thank you and good evening to all. This is very, very, very exciting for us because as, as was said earlier, it was quite a journey, but it gave our children, our students, an opportunity to be a part of something bigger than this school, something bigger than our county, 
something bigger than themselves in that grade level. It gave them an opportunity to dream. That's what I heard first from our students. We can dream about our lab. I think, Ms. Nix, you heard that? That's right. And we can think of the possibilities. Innovation. And I think that's what we have done here. All of our work then from the district support went into helping those dreams come true, become a reality for our students and our parents. Great parental support. Can't do it without the parents. And I want to thank you all for that and for helping our students understand just what global education means. And that's part of our mission. We're not just preparing you for Clayton County or just for the Coca-Cola in downtown Atlanta. And we could not have done it without you. Thank you so much. We greatly appreciate that. But we're preparing for something bigger. And that's this global society that we're in. And that's what this is about, our children. And I heard that when I came last time to meet with the graduating class or the moving forward class that went on to their next grade level, ninth grade, they talked about how they were going to impact the world and what it meant for them to have had this opportunity. And that's what we're giving our children, opportunities. That's what this is about. And Coca-Cola has made it possible for our children to dream about the opportunities. And so we want to thank you. Thank you, parents. And thank you, students that have come back, because you see now what hard work will do. This is all about our hard work. And thank you for allowing me to be here and be a part of this dream for our children. Thank you all. Ms. Nix, you're wonderful. Thank you so much. And I want to thank our board members who allowed us the opportunity as well. And, and you have two of them with you this evening, Ms. Baker, Mr. Stryker, to see this for their children as well. So thank you all. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. At this time, we would also like to recognize additional CCPS district leaders that were very supportive throughout this duration of implementation of this lab. Dr. Anthony Smith, Area 1 Superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Ebony Chillis, CTAE Coordinator. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Robinson, Science Coordinator. <laughs> Dr. Tanya Clark, Mathematics Coordinator. <laughs> we also have our technology team here with us tonight. So if they would come forward so that we can recognize them as well. Executive Director Rod Smith. <laughs> Director of Instructional Technology April Mayo. <laughs> Wes Watkins, Director of Technology Operations. <laughs> we also have Mr. Charles White, a part of the Communications Department here with us tonight. Dr. Donna Graham, Area 1 Implementation Specialist. Ms. Battle, Administrative Assistant to Dr. Smith. Again, we do have two of our board members here with us tonight, Ms. Mary Baker and Mr. Benjamin Straker as well. So if I missed anyone, Mr. Sam Colger in the back, Director of Maintenance. Mr. Timothy Cruz is in the back as well. <laughs> so again, if I missed anyone, again, thank you for coming out to support us as we do our ribbon cutting for our Coca-Cola lab. So before we have our closing remarks, <clears throat> if I can have your attention for just one minute. Thank you. Before we have our closing remarks, I want to say the students, when we went before Coke, I just want to talk to you real quickly about limiting beliefs. When they started the task, I was a little nervous. I said, ooh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of difficult. And they start working on the computer and doing the research. I would walk past their desk. I look back over my shoulder. I said, they, they're really doing some good work. I keep on, I walk to the next desk. 
wow, they are really doing some excellent work. And so I really would like to say, when they came to Coca-Cola and they had the panel there, these gentlemen here were sitting in the panel, sitting up straight, they had straight face, no offense, straight face, looking very straight. The kids came in, I had another limiting belief. I was like, oh, they're gonna buckle. They're gonna buckle. Because my knees buckled, I'm just telling you now. I didn't tell you before, I was really strong, but my knees buckled when I got there before Coke. I said, oh my goodness, they're gonna buckle. But when I tell you they showed up and they showed out, and this is a result right here today, the STEM lab, and I'm excited, and I thank you. And at this time, I'm going to call Ms. Mackey back up for the closing remarks. I love you guys. We have to recognize a couple more people that we missed, and we want to make sure that we acknowledge them. Uh, Mr. Sam West is here. This used to be his classroom. We want to recognize him. I see with him Ms. Marlo Young, former teachers of Rex Mill, so appreciate you all coming back. And Ms. Jada Dawkins is here, head of public relations for Clayton County. All right, I'm turning it back over to everybody. And I want to say one more thing, too. Because on the screens around you, donated by Coca-Cola, um, those screens, you're seeing PowerPoints that are looping of our students at work. You're seeing our brilliant, gifted, highly favored, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you're seeing them create the future. You're seeing them use the technology that we have in our school system. You're seeing them use it authentically in a real world task with STEM application. You're seeing them take ownership of their identity as world changers. Am I right, class of 2014-15? What is your job, ladies and gentlemen? Change the world! Amen. So I'm back up again to do the closing remarks. We do have, um, I wanted to make sure we recognize our Chief Development Officer, Lori Buckingham. She was going to be here to do the closing remarks. And I think she may be walking in the building. Um, but she was our executive sponsor for this. And I have to tell you, the organization and the executive team has been so supportive of this. When we said we wanted to do an initiative, and we do try to do STEM initiatives in the community um, often. She was very supportive of, OK, that sounds like a lot of fun. Go ahead, go back, tell me what I need to do. And we made it happen. So I really have to say thank you to the organization, our executive sponsors, for making sure we, we made this possible. Um, she didn't just plan to be late. They actually had a flat tire and had to take Uber down here from the office. So I'll cut her some slack because it was good effort, A for effort. <laughs> <laughs> But um, we do have some tokens because these students, I have a few more students that I know, worked so hard. I saw the effort. I know they worked over weekends. I know they worked in evenings to make this thing happen. And trust me, their designs blew us away too. When you said you looked and you were impressed, we were very impressed. I remember Chris in particular taking notes like, what is that? Okay, I'll have to look into that use that so you did some really great research and we we know that and we value that so that's why you have this today and your legacy I know you're not here to use the lab but this is your legacy this lab is your legacy so because of all that hard work we brought a little token for you we want to make sure you had something to take away with you okay so there are bags over here for you we'll figure out how we're going to do that because I know it's a lot of you um, but I also wanted to make sure we gave something to the staff as well that helped so much. Because as much as the students did and as much time as they dedicated, I know you all have dedicated time as well. So we do have a token for the staff um, that helped as well. And <laughs> so, so the young lady that I was just talking about, I'm um, our executive sponsor and chief development officer of our organization, um, is Lori Buckingham, um, is here. I told them you had a little problem. They gave you an A for effort trying to get here. <laughs> um, but we are actually closing up. Um, so any, yes, 
any closing remarks or anything you want to say, the floor is open. I just, uh, I'm sorry for being late. I really apologize. Um, but uh, thank goodness Uber got me here. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, and Valerie, when we started working on this and everybody, we just uh, love having the chance to be a part of your success. These students and are so important because they are our future. And the parents of students, you're important because you help make our future. So we just thank you and thank you for letting us be a part of it. Um, we have a small presentation we would like to make. Ms. Buckingham, Ms. Mackey. You know why we do what we do. But I'm incredibly honored, humbled, profoundly grateful to be able to honor you with a very small token of our gratitude and so on behalf of Rex Mill STEM program and Rex Mill School, middle school, we're offering, we're offering you this um, plaque which says STEM Education Partnership Award presented to the Coca-Cola Company in appreciation of your partnership with Rex Mill Middle School and your service to education. And so, now the time that we have all been waiting for, I'm going to ask that the class of 2014-2015 join me behind the ribbon. Wait, this way, this way. In an orderly fashion, please. <clears throat> Give them a hand as they come, please. Give them a hand as they approach. Give them a hand. And while... Okay. Simmer, simmer. Okay. Also... The students put a lot of work in, but I would like to recognize their teachers. Ms. Phillips, eighth grade teacher. Science. Ms. Kelly, eighth grade math. Mr. James Taylor is not here. He was social studies. And Dr. Best, that's me, ELA. Without, I know the eighth grade teachers, we work really closely with the students, but I would like to say the seventh grade teachers had them very well prepared when they came to us. So at this time, I'd like to recognize the seventh grade STEM teachers. Come on up. Come on up. <clears throat> we have Ms. Mitchell, science, seventh grade STEM teacher. Ms. Randall, ELA, seventh grade teacher. And in order for them to be prepared in the seventh grade, we had to have them ready in the sixth grade. We are a family. The teachers work hard. And we would have to also recognize our sixth grade teachers. Come on up if you're in the building. Ms. Bullet, ELA. Who else is here? Are the sixth grade teachers here? They're in the oh, they're in the comments helping. I told you we're a family. We do everything together. We help out wherever we need to. So without further ado, is there anybody else that I failed to recognize? <laughs> is Miss Myrna in the building? Give her a hand anyway. Ms. Myrna, our former principal. 
we had some ex supportive we had some supportive uh, family members as well, many supportive parents. Go ahead and give yourselves a hand clap. All the current administrators, come up please. All the Coca-Cola representatives, come up please. Now, this looks like a very big scissor. And I'd like Ms. Mackey to come forward to represent Coca-Cola. The administrators come forward. The STEM director, Ms. Nix, come forward. The students, Ms. Peyton Holster, come forward. You can represent the class, or you all can put your hand on it. Nadia, let's, let's wait. OK. Yeah, I think Again, thank you all so much for coming out on this great event. Please feel free to explore in the lab and head down to the commons to enjoy some treats. Ms. Mackey. Please do take a look at everything we have, the equipment. Enjoy. Transformation.